Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll discuss how to show the given plane in a cubic unit cell. So for that, we have taken a simple question that is sketch a cubic unit cell and show the following planes. So the planes are 111, 210 and uh, 003. These are the Miller indices of the plane. So let's start with the first one that is 111 plane. Okay. Now for 111 plane, the Miller indices are 1, 1 and 1 that is H, K and L. Okay. So first we have to find the point of intersection of this plane on x, y and z axis and the point of intersection will be just reciprocal of the Miller indices. So it will be 1 upon 1, 1 upon 1 and 1 upon 1 that is 1, 1, 1. So at x axis this plane will intersect at 1, y also 1 and z also 1. So if I just represent the point of intersection along the x-axis, this will be the point of intersection, one unit. On y-axis, it will be intersecting at this point, that is 1. And z-axis, along z-axis, this will be the point of intersection. So now we have to simply draw the plane. So we'll simply join these points, okay? So we will be joining this point and we'll be getting the plane. It. So that is the required plane. Let me set it for clear representation. This triangular plane basically is one 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 plane. Okay. So this is basically one 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 plane. Okay. So this one 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 plane is intersecting x axis at one, y axis at one, and z axis at one. And the point of intersection is simply determined by taking the reciprocal of this Miller indices. Okay. Now let's see the next plane that we have is two one zero plane. That is two one zero plane. So let's draw here. The plane is two one zero. So Miller indices are 2, 1, 0. So we'll just reciprocal. We'll take the reciprocal of this to get the point of intersection at x, y, and z axis. So it will be 1 by 2, 1 by 1, and 1 by 0. That is infinity. It means this plane will not be intersecting the z axis. Okay. It will not intersect the z axis. Okay. So now along x axis, it will be intersecting at 1 by 2, okay. So from center to this, it is a distance 1. So 1 by 2 is just half of that. So I will make the point here. This is half of this distance, edge length. Now, so this is the point of intersection at x axis. On y axis, it is at 1. So this will be the point of intersection. This is your origin, 0, 0, 0. And z axis, it is infinity. So it is not intersecting, okay. Now, so to make a plane in that, basically we have only two lines here. Okay, sorry, two points here that will be joining. So let me join these two points. Yeah. Yes, but it is not a plane. For making plane, we have to just, you know, extend to this point here, this point, the parallel, you know, sides here also. And parallel to this is that one this point yeah now we'll be joining all these points then we'll create a plane so be joining now see now this plane that we are getting is parallel to z axis it means it is not intersecting the z axis okay because it is intersecting the z axis at infinity here so let me set it to just get a clear view. Yeah. So 
this is the plane which is 2 1 0 plane the shaded region okay now let's see the third plane that is 0 0 3 okay so it is 0 0 3 so the point of intersection at x axis will be 1 by 0 y 1 by 0 and z 1 by 3 so it will not be intersecting at x and y axis it will be only intersecting at z axis at a distance 1 by 3 so this corner to this center is 1 so we'll take 1 by third so somehow here okay so this is 1 by 3 similarly here we have to take 1 by 3 here also 1 by 3 okay and here also 1 by 3 and we have to simply now join these points okay we'll be joining these points yeah so roughly we'll be getting that one that plane which will be parallel to both of these axes that is x axis as well as y axis okay so this plane is 0 0 3 plane thanks for watching please like share and subscribe the channel